हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल ऑफ चमेरी देवी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वामिसी इंदौर सो टुडे आई एम हेयर अगेन विथ एनदर वीडियो दैट इज़ फार्मास्यूटिकल पाउडर पार्ट टू सो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो फार्मास्यूटिकल पाउडर पार्ट वन वी हैव डिस्कस द इंट्रोडक्शन पार्ट ऑफ पाउडर डेफिनेशन ऑफ पाउडर एडवांटेजेस एंड डिसएडवांटेजेस ऑफ पाउडर क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ पाउडर सो नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द प्रॉब्लम एनकाउंटर्ड इन पाउडर फॉर्मुलेशन सो अ नंबर ऑफ प्रॉब्लम्स अराइज वाइल डिस्पेंसिंग अ पाउडर कंटेनिंग वॉलेटाइल सब्सटेंस हाइग्रोस्कोपिक सब्सटेंस एंड डेलीकुसेंट पाउडर समटाइम यू यूटेक्टिक मिक्सचर इफ्लोरसेंट पाउडर लिक्विड एक्सप्लोजिव सब्सटेंस एंड पोपोटेंट ड्रग सो For this uh, type of preparation, special consideration are required while dispensing such powder. So let's get started. So now in this slide, we will see the hygroscopic powder or and deliquescent powder dispensing. So the powder which absorb moisture from the atmosphere are called hygroscopic powder. So. it is the simple term that absorb the moisture from atmosphere are called hygroscopic powder but certain powder are absorb moisture to such a great extent that go into solution and called deliquescent so what is definition of deliquescent so absorb the moisture from atmosphere in such extent and convert into solution are called deliquescent powder so example of sub, uh, such substances includes ammonium chloride ammonium citrate pepsin phenobarbital and sodium iodide etc so such substances are usually provide in granular form in order to expose less surface area to atmosphere and avoid convert into fine powder so for dispensing of this hygroscopic and del deliquescent powder we will prefer the double wrapped paper and such substance are usually provide or supplied in granular form in order to expose less surface area of to the atmosphere and these powders should not be finely powdered apart from that in humid weather or when dealing with very deliquescent substance further wrapping in aluminum foil or plastic cover is advisable so this is the all about the uh, dispensing of hygroscopic and deliquescent powder now the efflorescent powder so what is efflorescent powder so some crystalline substance liberate water for crystallization wholly or partially on exposure to humid atmosphere or sometimes during trituration and thus become wet or liquefy so some crystalline substance liberate water for crystallization on the exposure of a humid at atmosphere or during trituration so they get wet or liquefy so these type of substance are called efflorescent substance or powder so example of such substance includes caffeine citric acid ferrous sulfate so this difficulty may be overcome by using either corresponding anhydrous salt or an inert substance may be mixed with efflorescent substance before incorporating with other ingredient so there are two option in dispensing of efflorescent powder first is uh, use uh, of anhydrous substances or anhydrous salt and another is using of some adsorbent or inert uh, product may be mixed with efflorescent substance now the next problem 
of dispensing is occur with eutectic mixtures so what are the eutectic mixtures so when two or more low melting point substances are mixed together then they liquefy due to formation of new compound so such substances are called eutectic mixture so when uh, we mix two or more substances together they liquefy due to formation of new compound which has a lower melting point than room temperature so such substances are called eutectic mixture the example of such substances includes aspirin phenol camphor menthol etc so these substances can be dispensed by two method then first method is dispense separately set of powder so in this remedy we will dispense a separate set of powders with direction that one set of each kind shall be taken as a dose and next is mixed an equal amount of any inert absorbent like uh, magnesium carbonate kaolin starch then blend it together lightly with a spatula on a sheet of paper when in addition to liquefy substances other ingredient are also present the liquefiable substance should first be triturate together to form the eutectic mixture then remaining ingredients of prescription are incorporated and mixed together so for this firstly we take inert material or inert absorbent material that is magnesium carbonate and then add liquefy uh, substances or you uh, you tactic mixture substances uh, for example low melting point substances and triturate together then they become liquefy due to formation of you tactic mixture so the liquid uh, so the liquid can be absorbed by magnesium carbonate and then mixed other ingredient or remaining ingredient of the prescription and mixed together so in this slide we can see the dispensing of volatile substance so certain vegetable powders contain volatile oils so to prevent the loss of volatile oils these vegetable drugs must be powdered lightly in a mortar similarly the volatilization of substances like menthol camphor and essential oil may take place on incorporation in powder so this uh, problem is prevented by or at least minimized by the use of double wrapped paper so in the dispensing of volatile substances we can use double wrapped paper so the inner uh, inner paper will be wax paper and uh, outer paper may be any thick paper so by the using of double wrapped paper we can prevent the volatilization of some substance such as menthol camphor and other essential oil now the another problem in powder dispensing is for dispensing of explosive mixture so when an oxidizing substances such as potassium chloride chlorate dichromate permanganate and nitrate sometimes sodium peroxide silver nitrate and silver oxide explode violently when triturate in a mortar with a reducing agent reducing agent may include sulfide sulfur tannic acid and charcoal so when we mixed oxidizing agent such that potassium chloride is mixed with reducing agent such as tannic acids 
सो देयर आर चांसेस ऑफ वायलेंट एक्सप्लोजन विच मे लीड्स टू सीरियस कॉन्सिक्वेंसेस सो टू अंडरस्टैंड वी टेक एन एग्जाम्पल ऑफ पोटेशियम क्लोराइड और क्लोराइड सॉरी पोटेशियम क्लोराइड दैट मार्क एज ए एंड सब्सटेंस बी दैट इज टेनिक एसिड सो वन इज ऑक्सीडाइजिंग एजेंट एंड अनदर इज रिड्यूसिंग एजेंट वेन बी मिक्सड बोथ टूगेदर इन अ पैसर मोटर सो दे कॉज एक्सप्लोजन सो फॉर डिस्पेंसिंग ऑफ सच पाउडर और कॉम्बिनेशन इन अ प्रिस्क्रिप्शन इज वेरी रेयर एज फार एज पॉसिबल सच प्रिस्क्रिप्शन शुड नॉट बी डिस्पेंसड बट इन केस इट इज रिक्वायर्ड टू बी डिस्पेंस देन पाउडर ईच इन्ग्रीडियंट्स सेपरेटली इन अ मोटर पिस्टल एंड मिक्स दैम लाइटली विथ अदर इन्ग्रीडियंट और द अल्टरनेटिव इज टू पाउडर ईच इन्ग्रीडियंट सेपरेटली एंड डिस्पेंस दैम सेपरेटली इन अ पेपर विथ सुटेबल डायरेक्शन टू द पेशेंट रिगार्डिंग इट्स यूज so we can prevent the explosion between those type of powder that is explosive mixture by packaging in separately or individual paper now the next uh, dispensing problem in with potent drugs so potent drugs are the substances which shows maximum effect in lowest quantity or the substance having a maximum dose of less than 60 mg and poisonous substances are called potent drug so the substance having a maximum dose of less than 60 mg or 1 grain and some poisonous substances are regarded as the potent drug so a small quantity of potent drug should not be weighed on dispensing valence so for that firstly potent drug incorporated with diluent such as lactose before weight so for this, the dispensing of potent drug so potent drug is titrated with some diluent such as lactose in definite proportion to make a available quantity for each powder generally potent drug is reduced to fine powder and to this an equal quantity of diluent is mixed by through trituration in a motor pestle then the rest of diluent is incorporated in successive proportion with trituration each time the one more thing should be kept in mind is the whole of diluent should never be added to the drug at the at the one time otherwise the potent drug will not be mixed uniformly and thoroughly in the diluent so to understand this uh, prescription or potent drug prescription we have an example which is codeine phosphate 10 mg so codeine phosphate is an is a potent drug so in case uh, weigh 100 mg of codeine phosphate and 900 mg of lactose mixed with ascending order with help of spatula so the total weight of mixture is 1 gram so out of 1 gram of triturate weigh 100 mg of each powder contain 10 mg of codeine phosphate and packed in powder paper so we can uh, dispense the potent drug with diluent next powder is granular powder so these are certain solid medicament which are required to be administered orally in large quantity so they cannot be prescribed in tablet and capsule because a large number of them will be required to take as a single dose which is not possible with tablet and capsule so these medicament are difficult to dispense as such in powder form because 
of its bitter nauseous and unpleasant taste so due to large dose we cannot dispense in tablet or capsule or due to bitter taste nauseous taste and unpleasant taste we can we cannot dispense in powder form so uh, for the dispensing of this type of powder we make granules although we cannot prepare liquid doses form because of unpleasant taste and stability problem so the only alternative left is to convert these powder medicament into granular form so in this case solid medicament mixed with sweetening flavoring and coloring agent with suitable granulating agent to motion the powder to make coherent mass then the coherent mass pass through the sieve number 10 to make granules and dry it in hot air oven at 60 degree celsius and after drying pass through the sieve number 20 and packed wide mouth container so example of powder which used as granular form are antibiotics like erythromycin ampicillin are available in granular powder they are unstable in liquid form so some powders are dispense in effervescent granule form so what are effervescent granule so effervescent granules are the specially prepared solid doses form of medicament meant for the internal use they contain a medicament mixed with citric acid tartaric acid and sodium bicarbonate sometimes saccharine or sucrose may be used to mask bitter taste of drug when contact with water they release of carbon dioxide to mask the bitter taste and saline taste of drug also carbon dioxide us stimulate the flow of gastric juice and help in the absorption of medicament so for the administration before the administration the, uh, the desired quantity of granules it is dissolved in water and then the acid and bicarbonate react together produce effervescence the carbonate water produce from the release of carbon dioxide serves to mask the bitter taste and saline taste of drug moreover carbon dioxide stimulate the flow of gastric juice and help in the absorption of drug or medicament so there are two type of methods used in the preparation of granules or effervescent granule first is heat method and next is wet method so the next method is wet method so in this method we will use the non aqueous solvent to prepared coherent mass so in this method the ingredient are mixed with alcohol to produce coherent mass so by the using of non aqueous a solution uh, solvent or alcohol we will prepare a coherent or damp mass and then uh, this damp mass pass through the sieve number 8 or 10 and after the formation of granule by using sieve then dry granules in hot air oven at 60 degrees celsius so after the dry granules are again passed through the sieve to break the lumps which may be formed during drying so the dry granule are packed in air tight containers so this is the method wet method formation of effervescent granules thank you